Hello everyone, TechnoSuits Craig Chamberlain here. We're going to move forward and actually do another episode of the software review series. Today we're going to discuss probably one of the most popular products on the market today for anti-spyware, and that would be SpyBot Search and Destroy. Now many of you have probably already worked with this piece of software, but many of you probably don't know a little, know a little bit about the history. Now SpyBot, once upon a time, was hands down the go-to utility for removing spyware. But over the past few years, they've kind of dwindled into the background a little bit. Maybe they got a little lazy, or maybe they got so popular that they didn't need to keep being better. That's pretty much how it goes in just about any industry and any product that gets popular. But let me delve into a little more detail here so you can uh, get yourself a little more educated and maybe formulate your own opinion on it. Then I'll go ahead and give you my review as well. <clears throat> now, SpyBot Search and Destroy, uh, as um, reviewed on CNET, and I, I like to do look at a lot of the reviews on CNET. The CNET editor gave it three out of five stars, which their, their primary complaints were the program had a tendency to lock up at times, even during the install process, and they encountered several errors. And th I mean, and th that's all true, actually. I've, I've been ex I've experienced those same issues, and that's definitely a setback. But you know, you can't be too. <clears throat> I mean, you can't be overly critical of software that's free. So. <laughs> That, to me, that's kind of a forgivable issue, uh, so I'm not going to really count that against it so much. I think they should fix it. You know, they've been out for quite a while. I think it's like five years, six years now. You know, it's almost like, come on, you know, get a handle on it and stop with the lockups. But, uh, yeah, like updating, you can't really update SpyBot. If you, uh, like the actual software version, like I have 1.62 here. If you have an older software version, they're like, click here to update now and start downloading updates. Most of the time that doesn't work. You literally have to uninstall SpyBot go online, download the latest version, and then reinstall it. So that the, the, there are some definite headaches associated with that. So <clears throat> the CNET editor rating, 3 out of 5. It, it's, I can understand where he's coming from, but I think he was a little too critical in regards to uh, the, the, uh, the hardware lockups, because it's forgivable on free software, in my opinion. Now, on the average user rating, of course, you get 4 out of 5 stars. Now, th this is probably about right. This is where most people are standing right now. Uh, but again, this is over the long period of time on the software, so you know this is these are including reviews back to when it was like amazing. So you, you got to have kind of have to take that with a grain of salt. Now, if we go to Wikipedia, we can learn a little bit more about it. Spybot Search and Destroy. Um, uh, it was a popular proprietary software and adware removal program compatible with 95 and later. Um, you know, basically, this goes over the basic features of it, and you probably all know most of that. The uh, most important and most interesting section on this, I thought, was the reviews and awards section. You look at these PC Magazine editor ratings out of five, and, and they went from 2003, they went to from four out of five stars, and then in 2004, they got to four out of five again, and then in, in uh, 2005, they got three out of five, and in 2005, they got two out of five again, two out of five out of five instead. And then all of a sudden, 2008, they got one and a half out of five. Now, I, I've read this review, and it is, it's amazingly critical about it. They're probably just disappointed where it's come to after all the, you know, the, the years. And they wish that it could keep up with, it, with its former self. And, you know, it, it basically what I'm, what I'm saying here is, is SpyBot's fallen into the back, back way as far as being the only spyware utility you should have on your computer. Once upon a time, you could have just had SpyBot and walked away from it, not had to worry about having a whole lot of other anti-spyware software, but I still don't think it's like 1.5, in other words, it's a waste of time. I think SpyBot's one of the one of the great tools to have along with other pieces of software. Now, ZDNet reviews, they have a, a more, uh, a less critical review on it, and uh, they, of course, gave it an 8 out of, eight out of 10, and, uh, you know, Features got a 9 out of 10, and it really, it's a good piece of software. If you look at the actual software, the way it works is you do check for problems, and if you do a check, one thing that's nice is when you find an issue, you can click on the item, and then you can click over here on the right-hand side. And what that'll do is that'll give you more information about the spyware itself, which is nice because you can learn a little bit more about what you're being infected with. Um, the problem is this, is their definition base is not solid. You know, it's just not as solid as it used to be. So you can't really rely solely on SpyBot Search and Destroy anymore. But it's still a great tool. It scans fast. It does find a lot of the stuff that's out there. The immunize feature is fantastic. In other words, it prevents software from getting into your computer or browser hijacks and stuff from getting into your computer before it even has a chance to. My overall review, in my opinion, 
I believe Spybot probably deserves around a three and a half out of five, and that's being a little more generous than uh, most people probably would be. If you had to pay for it, it would probably drop to two and a half out of five for me. But since it's free, it's three and a half out of five. Throw it in your utilities. It's got a, it's got a very tiny footprint. It doesn't run real time scanning, so it doesn't run on your boot up. When I say it doesn't do real time scanning, I mean that when you don't install the T timer. If you install the T-Timer, the software is going to be almost a nightmare for you because down in the bottom right-hand corner, they're going to keep popping up with these. Uh, they're going to attempt a change in registry. A change in registry is detected and it's going to constantly ask you. But if you've gone through my video on uh, installing the software, you did not install the T-Timer for that reason. I don't like to be pestered by my software. So, again, if you remove that part, this is an essential portion of a software that you have to have. You don't want all the features, obviously, but, you know, pick and choose the ones you need like I do and uh, you know free you know can't complain about that so overall I give Spybot Search and Destroy a three and a half out of five like I said and uh, it's pretty much a definite want to have when it comes to your maintenance strategy if you go to my website www.pcmichiana.com scroll down to the bottom right hand corner you can download Spybot Search and Destroy under the free anti-spyware software and uh, just go ahead and click Spybot Search and Destroy it'll lead you to CNET which will lead you to the most recent download of it and uh, that's pretty much all there is. I hope this helped you guys out. Maybe you'll learn a little bit more about SpyBot. Now you can uh, impress your friends. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm sure they'll be really impressed.